Behind closed doors, we're all living in lockdown. But how are top British athletes coping? I asked Jazz Sawyers and Guy Learmonth. A couple, but because of athletics, they're isolating 240 miles apart. Honestly, it's pretty miserable. But the, the good thing is, uh, normally I'd be away in Florida and I'd be five hours behind um, and we'd be apart anyway. So at least we're in the same time zone. I'd love to be to be up there with Guy or to have Guy down here with me, but at least we're waking up and going to bed at roughly the same time, which is nicer than usual. Being in Berwick, we're kind of stuck in the back and beyond with no facilities. We have, you know, the closest track to us anyway is over an hour away up at Tweed Bank and the borders. So I'm completely on my own here. It's um, a flat that I rent in Loughborough um, that I normally share with another athlete, but he's decided to isolate at home with his parents. Um, so it's just me. So every day I, I quite like to have my structure so that I feel like I've got something to do every day. I find myself talking to my neighbours a lot more because <laughs> um, they come out sometimes and watch my, watch my training sessions. We do a lot of stuff on the street. Um... The only difficult thing right now is everyone seems to be exercising. Everyone's um, out walking, walking the dogs, everyone's running, everyone's on the bikes and stuff. Thankfully, in my mum and dad's garage, we, when I moved back home, we converted that into a, like a mini gym. I've got a treadmill and everything there. I'm doing my speed sessions out on the street, just literally right outside the door. Uh, we're using parking bays. The, the beautiful thing now is there's no cars in the street. So I have managed to borrow some uh, weights. So I've got some. I've got an Olympic bar. I've got enough plates to do certain lifts. I'm having to stick at the same weight for certain lifts. I'm getting really good at lifting 65 kilos. Um, I've got a a bike, static bike, and a curved treadmill, which I I ummed and ahed about for a while, but I thought it was a good investment. Um, my downstairs neighbours don't think it's a great investment, but we have come to an agreement where because they're working from home you know everybody's having to adapt but the treadmill is so loud that um they can't take work calls if i'm on it um so i can either use that at one o'clock for half an hour or after three which is fine we've, we've sorted that out there's not too much at the minute that i can't do um the only thing i can't do is is long jump you know i can't get on the track so at the minute i'm doing sort of a winter training block i'm doing drills in the street I'm doing my fast sprints on my curved treadmill. I'm doing bike sprints. I'm lifting, not quite as usual, but adapted and that's okay. I've got some resistance bands and then I'm doing plyometric bounds and jumps in the park. I I'm making it work. And I think that's what most people are doing. You know, we we're, we've still got the hope that we might have a season. And even if we don't have a season this year, I don't want to get totally out of shape because there's still going to be an Olympics next year for me to be training for. And I know that my competitors won't be stopping training. And to be honest, what else would I do? Um, you know, I'm used to being in a routine of getting up every morning and going to training. So that's what I'm doing. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit different. This year has naturally became a, a down year now. Um, you know, looking forward to the, the Olympics in 2021 now. Um, 2022 is going to be a crazy, crazy year. Um, I don't think people will get too hit up about the form and stuff this season. Yeah, it will be nice if people can still compete well, run fast, jump far and, and, and everything. But I don't think people will look into it too much. As far as we know, we've still got a season. We need to be in the best position to train as well as we can in this sort of lockdown. We know neither of us can get to a track and say, okay, where's the best place for me to train? And that's here just because of the equipment that I've got um, and the access to things and exactly the same for Guy. So I kind of wish the best place for us both was the same place, but sadly it's not. <laughs> I'll get you on FaceTime later, Jazz. Yeah, yeah, FaceTime me. I'll FaceTime you when I'm... I'll see you in a bit, Don. See you later, Rona. Okay, thanks then, Guy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.